Hi, you found Ayla's Dan Lost Girls. I am giving you a vlog from the hospital. Hopefully you can follow me through my journey. I am finally getting rid of this NJ tube and uh, I am going to get a J tube tomorrow. I think it's a GJ tube, but I'm not sure of all the details. I actually speak to the surgeon tomorrow. So um, I think I'm last on the surgery list. So I'll be fasting from tomorrow morning early and yeah so i'm relieved to be here and finally be getting rid of this tube after three long months it's practically a skipping rope or a jump rope it is so long it's actually wrapped up in my hair as well i don't know if you can see it's up in my bun it's wrapped like five times around my bun as well but anyway it's going to be so good to get rid of this it has been changed from this nostril to that nostril and this nostril we've changed many times it always sits on the same spot in my throat. Must just be the shape of my throat. Just lucky, I guess. Um, but I've got a lump now, and I really can't wait. Oh, look at that. You can see my stretchy EDS skin when I'm even just poking. Anyway, <laughs> distracted by my own reflection in my phone. I will update you on my journey of getting my surgery. And thanks for following and subscribing and for all the thumbs up. You guys are a great support. And it's awesome to hear from fellow chronic ill people, chronically ill people and fellow zebras. Thanks. When your nurse comes in and is like, this is Violet. She's nil by mouth. I'm always nil by mouth. Time for an update. I am out of surgery. I had my surgery to have a, a J tube placed. Um, I had it only about three hours ago. Um, I woke up in a little bit of pain, had a little bit of fentanyl, and I've managed since with just Panadol. Here's how it looks. Here's the end of it. Um, it's definitely sore. I haven't attempted to get out of bed yet, but I have attempted to sit up and my abdo muscles are hurting. Um, all in all, at this stage, not as bad as I thought it would be, but I don't know if there's any sort of numbing that's still working or um, if the pain relief, you know, is still working the strongest stuff. But if I can manage the recovery on just Panadol, then I am really surprised because I did think it was going to be a lot worse. So I'm hoping that by saying this, anybody that's going to be having this procedure um, is a little bit less nervous about it because it is, for me anyway, less severe than what I thought it would be. Um, oh, and the most exciting bit... Um, <laughs> oh, I have to sing the song, I ate got no NJ in my nose. Sorry, that's Mary from the Fry Life. Um, from Fry Life, if anybody watches them on YouTube, she sings, I ain't got no NJ in my nose. It is so good. I still have sticky residue on my cheek, but it's so good to finally have that out of my nose. My throat's sore from obviously them going in and doing the procedure. Um, and the procedure actually took a really long time. So it took about three hours, which is, is so long, but the reason for it was um, they discovered that I actually have an abnormal small intestine as well. So I've got an unusual loop in there and they weren't quite sure about it. I haven't started feeding through it um, yet, but I am sipping um, some fluids and I'm still on my IV at this stage and I can start feeding through it tonight. Hello again, time for my update. It is day one post-op, so I got through the night on just Panadol. Yeah, um, needed something a little stronger this morning. Just had a half dose anyway because I get nauseous from pain relief. Um, and everything's going better than I'd expected and it looks like I'll get to go home today. Um, I'm gonna stay nearby the hospital in a hotel for a couple of days in case there's any complication. So speaking of complications, it looks like I've got a twist called a volv volvovus or something in my small intestine, which made my operation take a little bit longer. Um, and it's something that I will probably still need to get 
gastroenterology help with. It is again caused by long-term dysmotility of my intestine and um, CIPO, which I think is uh, intestinal pseudo obstruction or something like that. So just again, having Ehlers-Danlos syndrome has basically caused um, my intestines to slow right down and block and not work. And then that's caused a twisting on my small intestine. So interesting and very rare, but in my case, probably to be expected because of the severity um, of my intestinal failure. Um, so the GJ tube is sore, but bearable. It hurts to use my abdo muscles and sit up. My nausea is still really annoying, but I'll get on top of that in the coming days. So um, before I sign off on my experience with this surgery, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. One thing I was grateful for bringing was this dressing gown. Um, it, this robe has been my comfort. It is so warm and fluffy and soft. Um, and some things I wish I thought to bring is a nice like glass drinking thing or uh, with like a straw because sitting up to drink can be hard. And I wish I thought to like shave the little baby hairs off my stomach before going in um, because of dressings and things and I hate the feeling of having hairs pulled out. I did do my arms because of the drip, but I didn't think to do my stomach. Um, ooh, I get a bit of cramp when I get, it's like wind pain, I think, from the op. So that's the most painful bit at the moment. I have to wait for that to sort of pass. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's, the, oh, and my heat pack. I brought my heat pack to hospital and I've been warming it up myself in the microwave and I'm very glad I did that. So. They are my recommendations and thank you for following me on my journey of getting my GJ tube and I'll update you again soon. See ya.